Hello, today I want to demonstrate how you can work inside Lightroom Classic locally on your images. So we will use the brush, we will retouch, we will lighten and darken certain areas and all of this inside the raw workflow. So let's get started in Lightroom Classic. Before I want to start working locally on this image, I want to start with global adjustments. So I'm here in the basic tab and inside the basic tab I can add a little bit of light to the shadows in general and maybe turn down the highlights a little bit, just like this. Okay, then because I'm working on the Fuji Classic Chrome profile, I want to add a little bit of vibrance over here. And maybe I want to tune in a little bit of a warmth to this image. But yeah, that's, that's optional. And the great thing is because I'm not going out of Lightroom and I'm staying inside the raw workflow, I can always dial in these uh, values later and change what I want to change afterwards. So after the local adjustments. But in the beginning, I would say so it's okay. And now I want to add it locally. So here on the right, you have the masks button. And with the masking button, I can go in and I can say that I want to mask the subject. So select subject. Lightroom will now analyze the image and try to find the subject. And here you see that's really, really well. And what I want to do is just to focus onto the skin regions. So the skin colors. So here, that's the mask one. So I switch to this view and this should be the skin. And because right now I have subject, it's the whole image selected. But when I now add the option key to my keyboard, then you see I can add, subtract and with the option key intersect the mask. And when I now press on intersect and here change or select the color range and press on the colors of the skin somewhere, like this, then you see Lightroom will just select the color range inside the subject. When I hold the shift key and press again, then you see Lightroom will add the second press to my color and here with the range slider I can select which color range I want to have. So a third shift click over here. So now I think I have all the skin uh, areas selected. If I want to see it better, I can go here to the masks panel on the three dots and maybe go to image on white. And here see all the skin tones which are selected. You can also go on image on black, but that's totally up to you. Here you see you have the options. I stay with the color overlay and in my case I switched from red because red is not that good visible on skin to a light yellowish green over there. And now I think I can work with the skin. So because it's the skin mask, now I can go into the local adjustments over here and decrease the texture. And when I go to the left like this, you see the, the volume and all of the face is still here, but I decreased the small, small, yeah, let's say the small skin uh, variants. So when I go to the right with the texture, then you see all the details of the skin, all the fine aspects of the skin are getting uh, bigger and you see it uh, quite good. But when I go to the left, not too far because, because then it's a little bit too soft, but so in between somewhere over here, then the skin gets a little bit even. Okay, so that's the before. That's the after, that's the before, that's the after. So that's the first thing I want to do. Um, and now I close the masking panel and go over to the healing brush, go to the heal mode. And with the scroll wheel on my mouse, I can change the size and just go over some imperfections like this and just click through this image. So here you can go in, just press on this. If I want to uh, change the position, I can do it as well. So 
I can drag it over to here. Scrolling on the mouse wheel to change the size. Hold down the space bar to go or to scroll around inside the image while still over the uh, on the healing brush. If I want to change a bigger region, I can press and uh, paint over this region. Yes, that's okay. With the Q key, I can deselect the tool just to see if everything is fine. Q again. Now I paint over here and scroll to make the brush a little bit smaller. Just go over here. And here also some small imperfection, but nothing big. Okay, Q again. And now I have retouched or edited this image for the skin. The next part is to lighten up the eyes a little bit. And for this, I will go again to the masking panel and create a new mask over here. And now I go with the brush. That's my new mask. Scroll again to change the brush size and just paint in the eye like this. And on the other side again. And with the Alt key or Option key pressed down, I can remove the spills of the mask from outside the eye like so. Okay. And I double click onto the mask name. These are the eyes, okay? And now I can bring up the shadows a little bit and also add in a little bit of clarity, like so. Maybe a little bit of exposure, but don't overdo it with the exposure. It's better to work with the shadows and with the highlights to change the eyes in this case. So that's the before, that's the after, that's the before, that's the after. With the option key, I can fine tune the mask like this before and after. Then I will create uh, another mask right now with the brush again and this is for the teeth and here I can work for example with auto mask and try if Lightroom will auto mask the teeth for me. Yeah in this case this seems to work rather fine. Then I will deselect auto mask, hold down the option key again and just work on the mask like so. This is teeth and for sake of the naming I write it as big or uppercase letters and now I press on the O key to show and hide the overlay and also again go in with the whites and with the shadows and maybe decrease the saturation a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. And if you really want to go, you can also work with the exposure, but be aware not to overdo the exposure, just a little bit of lighting. So to lighten up the teeth, but I think shadows and whites are good enough. Yeah. That's totally fine. Okay, and now I want to work a little bit on the, on the form and on the focus where I want to focus the viewer's attention to. And before I do this, and I work with a vignetting, I will create a new mask. And this mask is for dodging and burning. So I can add some structure and some form to this image. So new mask, and now I go in with the brush. And here I switch the brush from the A brush to the B brush. And the cool thing is Lightroom has these two brushes. And in my case, I use the A brush always with uh, the full flow and density. And the B brush is also or is always with a lower flow. And because I have a lower flow, I can bring in or bring out the the brush settings, the local brush settings where I want them to have. So B brush on this mask and now I can go in and darken the image in regions where I want to darken it. So for example, I want to darken the hair 
So I will go in and start in a darker area like this. The feathering should be quite uh, soft like this. Yeah. And now I call this darken like so. And I can work on darkening certain uh, regions of the image right now. So I go down with the shadows and with the highlights. And here I can start to paint in. And because my flow is quite low with 14, I can paint over this region often. And where I go off, uh, more over the region to darken, this will get gradually darkened. So let's paint over these regions over here to darken the hair a little bit. Hold down the spacebar, scroll to size up the brush. Yes, like this. Then scroll on the trackpad to change the size and darken the brows a little bit, like so. Also the other side. And every stroke I do is uh, adds a little bit of darkness. So that's the before, that's the after, before and after. And then I can darken these regions of the eyes a little bit, like so. Okay. And scroll a little bit to change the size darken the lower part of the lips and always think when you work like this that you are adding shadows or subtracting shadows. So this is what I've done, pressing on the O key. And now I can go in and add another mask for lightening, also a brush. I just start here on the lips with this one, like so. And that's lightening or lighten. And here, the other way, shadows up, lights up, or highlights up. And now I can go in and lighten regions I want to emphasize with light, like this. And when I want to switch to the darken mode, I just press on darken, the brush is selected, and now I can darken the lips over here. And so we see, that's the darkening, and here that's the lightening, in this case the lightening of the lips, like so. I can also go in and, for example, brighten the whole eye region a little bit more. So this was a mistake, I was on the wrong brush. So if I want to delete this, I just go to the option key and delete over here and over here. And now I have to go in and darken these regions a second time, like so. And now switch to the lighten brush over here, increase the size, press on the O so that I don't have the overlay. And now I can go in and lighten certain areas where the light should fall on her face. Yeah, just like so. And then the second part on this focusing is to create the mask again. And now I want to go with the radial gradient. And here I want to create a gradient over her face. So in this case, that's the vignetting. And now I go down with the shadows and the uh, highlights. And you see, I'm just working inside this gradient. So I have to invert it like so. And then I can go down with the highlights and with the shadows, maybe size up the mask a little bit more. Okay, and so I just darken the outside of the image and that's a little bit 
better because now the focus of the viewer is onto her face and the background over there and over here is getting darker. So if I want to darken it even more, I would go with the shadows down like so. And if I now want to see the before and after, I can go inside the develop model on this Y and Y keys. And now you see on the left side, I have the before and on the right side, I have the after image. And when I press to zoom in, you see what I've done just here inside of Lightroom with working on local adjustments. That's everything for today. Thanks for being with me. I hope you have learned something new. If you like this video and this technique, give it a like. If you are a subscriber or if you're not a subscriber, press on the subscribe button and ring the bell. And if you have any questions or comments, just write down inside the comments of this YouTube video. So thanks for being with me and I see you soon. See ya.